Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and uh, if you follow my channel I reviewed a new motion sensor and I also reviewed a new uh, window and door sensor and that just happened like 10 minutes ago so I'm now reviewing the third product that I received a couple of days ago and this is the S60 smart plug and Wi-Fi smart plug and I think we have seen you know fairly similar products uh, from Sonoff but uh, it just comes in a different form factor and it's been upgraded to sort of like this newest model where instead of an ESP8266 it contains an ESP32 chip so you can uh, pair it using Bluetooth which makes the pairing much much easier and it must have contained the new QR code which again makes the pairing easier uh, but other than that it's a smart plug it's a Wi-Fi smart plug it has a 16 amp relay so that's uh, you know quite nice that's uh, you know fairly in line with the the type of breakers that we get in Europe. Uh, this is the FE model, which is the European socket, but there is a UK version available at the moment. US version is not available yet or not released yet. And uh, it has power metering. Uh, so these are the main features. And by the way, as opposed to the other two models, which are brand new and only going to be released in the 16th of, uh, sorry, 20th of December, the S16 is now available. So I am just looking at, actually, let me just change the view so you can uh, you look at it as well. So this is the uh, the website. Well, that's, that's the product page. And uh, you can see the two different types here. And you can see, you know, voice control and schedules and the usual stuff, overload protection and energy monitoring. And as far as I can see, it's available for 1090 at the moment from the uh, Sonoff website. And you can see there is a bit of volume discount as well. And it's available in both uh, UK and European model and the price is the same. So that's good. Let's open this up and then sh let's see how she looks like and what is included in the box. So we get some small leaflet. We got the thingy thingy and that's it. There's nothing else inside. And uh, it looks quite sexy, I have to say. I quite like this uh, gray insert here. And you have uh, these awful uh, child protect tabs inside and uh, the earth bronze here and we have a button on the side the qr code and and that's that's all there is to it and this is also says uh, 16 amp 4000 watts so quite a big one that is oh sorry i mean like uh, um, I recently reviewed a very similar model, uh, well, sorry, a very similar plug, uh, that was the Matter plug, that was a little bit thinner, uh, so this one feels a little bit wider, so definitely you won't be able to put this into a power strip next to each other, because I think it just, um, you know, the, the, the two next to each other probably would just touch, but I don't mind that at all, because... Um, especially these ones that are rated for 16 amp is pretty much just you know pushing the limit what you can usually use in uh, in european you know sockets and extension leads not to mention that nowadays the extension leads are now downrated to 13.8 amps um, with a 1.5 millimeter square cable and everything is i mean if you look at this this one this is where the socket starts or sort of like the you know the molding starts and pretty much it only extends here so uh, so in this very small space they have to fit in fit in the relay all the electronics the uh, power supply and everything so there is not an awful lot of space so i am happy that if it gets more space for like a bit of bigger relay maybe a, a, a bit more heat sinking and thermal management but uh, i'm certainly not going to test it with a 16 amp load at the moment so that's the device and then let's look at the leaflet very small leaflet so again they just say if you want the user manual just go online and get the user menu yourself and yeah i mean basically the pairing is this much yeah please add your device and scan the qr code and the system is going to do the rest and actually i think this is the go this is going to be the first product that i will be pairing using the qr code because all the previous ones that i just reviewed uh they were zigbee ones so i did the zigbee pairing which uh well i didn't have to 
do the QR code thing because then, you know, with Zigbee, it just finds any Zigbee device. Okay, so I got myself a big parch strip. So I'm just going to plug this in and, uh, whoopsie, yeah. So as I said, it's big enough so you won't be able to fit two next to each other in an extension lead. Okay, so there is a small uh, LED here which I can see but you can't because the, uh, the light is just too strong. So let's do the pairing. So I'm just going to, in my main app, kick on plus and then I'm going to do scan because I said this is the first time I'm scanning this. So please scan. Scan it like this sideways. Come on. Scanning free. Please enter the device ID manually. Okay, so that's not really useful. The thing, oh, it just did it. Okay, I was, on, I was not able to go really close to this unit. Okay, and uh, oh, I quite like this one. Yeah, it's nice because then it gives you a very quick, a sort of like one pager guide. So you have the button to turn the things on and off and then you have an LED lights, one for Wi-Fi and the other one is for the um, main indicator. So that's good as, uh, yeah, well, if I wouldn't have plugged it in, this pairing wouldn't have worked. Press the button for five seconds. Okay. And this is blinking. Oh, okay. This is just a standard Bluetooth connect. Okay, so that's interesting because I th it, it looks like that the QR code was only good enough for the phone to determine what type of device it is. So it can give you device specific instructions how to pair it because the rest of the project was just like any sort of uh, like newer products where you can uh, uh, pair it using Bluetooth. So that small screen where it showed up that it's an S60, that was the Bluetooth screen that I, well, I recognized from earlier. And uh, and then when I selected it, it asked for the, you know, the usual, what is the Wi-Fi, what is the, uh, the Wi-Fi password? And that, that was the next screen. So uh, I'm just going to leave it S60 TFP and add, and it should appear here on the top. Yep. And it's on. And now I get a small, a very faint red uh, LED. I think you can just barely make it. There, there is a blue um, left to the bottom and there is a red right to the bottom. It's good because it's not intrusive. It's not like a very, you know, strong indicator light. And I can turn it on and I can turn it off. Perfect. This is all I need. And the main screen is... Uh, I'm trying to remember, I think this was the main screen for the POW as well. So you have a big button to turn the unit on and off, and then you have the power metering options below. And we have the usual schedules. I can, you know, turn this on and off on any given day of the week, and I can create a lot of these schedules. You can, I can create these uh, one-off timers that, okay, I, in 15 minutes, I want this device to go off. I have this loop timer where I can repeat or I can do alternate of different on-off cycles. And that's again, it's available for all the devices. So there's nothing new here. And in the meantime, I grab my fan so we can test the power measurement functionality. It's not a big fan because I don't want to make it um, very noisy, but you can see that as soon as the, uh, the plug is turned on, I can see power consumption and well, obviously only power at the moment because uh, this is a brand new unit and this fan would need to run for a couple of hours to see any even fractional kilowatt hours. But you can see that what is the line voltage, what is the current, what is the watt, and you will eventually, once you have enough data, you will start seeing some graph uh, figures. So if you look at the um, this daily view, then you can see consumption or consumption uh, hourly and then if you go monthly it just becomes daily and if you go yearly in the it, it becomes monthly 
and it looks like you have a download option here as well. So you can download the results in a CSV. And uh, previously on previous models, um, it was mentioned that this history is kept for 365 days. So yeah, that's good. What is this small question mark? Real power. Okay, so this measures the real power and not, I guess, reactive power. So that's the, um, that's the power measurement and the main functionality. If I go into the settings, then um, yeah, we have the integrated user manual. So you can quickly access the user manual. This is new-ish, which is coming in with the newer models. That's easy to, um, easy to access. Uh, I guess this downloads it from the internet, but at least you, it does it for you, so you don't have to Google it. And then you can also change it so it uh, appears as with a different icon. So it just makes it easier to distinguish the different models. By the way, let me switch it off so we don't see the, uh, the hear the fan. I can assign it to a location. I can share the device. That's uh, same with all the devices. I can enable the land control. I can do the thresholds. So these are the, uh, the, the thresholds or the power protection uh, functionality. So you can see that uh, you can set it to either max or minimum power and voltage and current as well. And uh, I don't know why you would do current and power at the same time but you can do and if any of these conditions met the device is going to turn itself off automatically it's good that you have something on the voltage as well so if you're planning to run it on you're planning to run a device which is very sensitive to line voltage then you can set these thresholds as well so if if the line voltage gets too high or too low you can just disconnect the device and push notification yeah, that's also the enhanced push notifications that uh, I have seen for the POW Elite. So you can just enable general push notification or you can do uh, consumption based push notification. So if the consumption of this device that you plugged in here reaches either a monthly or a daily sort of limit, then which is in kilowatt hours, you can uh, generate an additional push notification. It's again, it's a good feature if you are monitoring, um, you know, keeping a tab on your electricity bill and want to make sure that um, you're not using too much. Or just the fact that if you happen to just leave this thing on or whatever device on, you can just set a daily goal and that's going to be a reminder that, oh, this is, ta this is consuming too much electricity. So maybe it is, it is left plugged in uh, for, for some reason or by accident. So you can turn it off. So that's, that's a nice feature. I think it's, it's a good addition and I'm glad that this uh, simple plug has received that one as well. Uh, we have offline alerts, so you get an alert if the device goes offline. We have the logs, things that we switched on and off. And it shows whether I did it from the app or that was uh, triggered by a button. And I guess that would be um, an option here as well to see if it was triggered by a scene. And we get network indicators, so that's the small blue light. We have power on state. We have inching setting, again, uh, the time. You can set it up now to up to one hour and then it can be an auto off or an auto on inching. Again, same as uh, before, you can uh, change the Wi-Fi settings here as well. And then you get you know, all the details like, okay, this is the S60 T TPF and it has an address and everything. So in terms of the settings, it's, um, I would say it is identical to a POW Elite, but you are getting in this very small form factor and by the way, I mean, pretty much the rest of it is just like a POW Elite. I think with the newest POW, I have to look it up, but I think with the newest POW Elite can go up to 20 amps. I'm not really sure on that, but this is definitely smaller and it is, uh, well, it's just easier because you just plug it in. I mean, the POW Elite, you would definitely wire in uh, into circuit. So it really depends on your application. if. You want to power something which is like it has a plug you use this and if it's a more permanent solution um, something which is built in you can use the T a POW Elite and you get the same functionality in terms of power management and so on so let's look at the scenes again i don't think it's going to be any surprises here 
so device state changes so i can create a scene whether this device gets switched on and off on or off uh, i can do it on power as well so let's say i can create a scene if the uh, the device which is plugged in here starts drawing more than let's say i don't know thousand watts so you can see i can enable this and if power is equal and then you enter a number or you can do it on the today's goal or the current month's goal. So in the settings, you just get a notification, but here you can do a, um, a, a scene as well. So um, let's say you get that notification that whatever is plugged in is, is, is already used, I don't know, five kilowatt hours today, but now you can create a scene and you can just turn this. Oh, well, actually let's, let's just check this one because I think previously it was not possible to use the same device in the trigger and the action side. So I created a, a, a trigger, we say, if the today's goal is uh, greater than two kilowatt hours, can I, uh, sorry, not this one, uh, smart device, yeah. So I can turn this off. So with this scene, if um, you, if whatever is plugged in, it's using more than this much uh, in a day, it's just going to turn itself off. And of course you would still, I mean, if you set the settings, uh, the notification, you will still get a separate notification as well, but the notification itself would not do anything with a plug. It just sends a notification, but with this, you can turn it off. So um, that's great. I mean, so now you can turn off base, uh, based on kilowatt hours used per day or per month, or just, you know, simple power. And uh, that's it. And then the threshold settings again in the settings that will also turn it off. Okay, so I think that pretty much concludes my review of this new S60. Well, this is the TFP version, but there is another version for the UK, which is called S60. And I don't remember the other thing. Let me just look it up online. That's the type G for the UK plug. As I said, it's a it's just like a POW Elite because it measures power consumption. It has all the advanced features on inching, uh, power monitoring, daily and monthly consumption, and the same on the scenes. So the difference between this and the POW Elite is pretty much the form factor. If you want a pluggable version, you buy this. If you want a sort of like a, a mounted version that you can hide away or put it into a consumer box, then you use uh, the POW Elite. If you are interested in this product, I'm going to leave purchasing links in the video description below. But I think that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.